Vaughn. Good morning, Becky. Good morning, Bonnie. How are you today? I say I'm that wonderful. But you're always wonderful. So I'm glad you're here. Your kitchen always looks so cute. And I love all those dishes in the background. It's very yeah. festive for today. Yep. Um, I almost feel like we need to do a Cinco de Mayo day with all the Mexican tacos. But uh, well, we're having tacos today, aren't we? We are. We're just we not having any margaritas or anything to go with it. No margaritas too early. Maybe, <laughs> maybe this afternoon. Okay, gotcha. So yeah. what are we having today? Give us an idea. Well, we always start with dessert, you know that. Of course, so, of course. Today, today we're doing an old fashioned easy apple crisp. Uh, who doesn't love an apple crisp, right? And I love easy, so that's always a plus. Easy uh, apple crisp. I don't uh, know, you have a lot of little containers there, so I don't know how easy this is gonna be. The apples um, are good right now, and so it's just a good time to make your apple crisp. And I have ice cream today to go on top. Oh, so much better. Even better than whipped cream. So <laughs> ice cream is always a good cream. thing. <laughs> okay, where do we start? Well, and then after that, we're gonna do tacos. So we'll get there, but let's do the apple crisp first. Okay. I feel like okay. I can smell an apple already. <laughs> you can't. I actually did a whole recipe in a nine or eight by eight pan. So I've got that done. So I've actually cut this in half, but I'll talk like it's a full recipe. So okay. We you. understand that. Yeah. We know about <laughs> the magic oven and all of that stuff. Yeah. So if you go online, you'll be able to find these recipes and that's what I'm going to tell you today, what to use like online. So let's pretend we're doing a full one. I'm actually going to do a half, but we're going to do a full one. We so, won't even know. <laughs> no. So you take six apples and you peel them. I've got this one half peeled. Okay. Uh, so I finished peeling my apple. Um, probably a, a medium sized apple like this. You don't want real small ones. If you do add an extra apple, you can't have too many apples in there, right? Do you have a preference of apples? Um, it called for a golden delicious, but I had galas and I just used galas. Okay. Um, the harder the apple, like your Granny Smiths, they're going to be a little tartar, a little firmer. So um, a little softer apple works fine. And that's sort of a golden delicious or your... Okay. Um, uh, galas. Um, you know, I have my little handy dandy apple cutter, which I love this thing. So I just put it over and I'm just going to push it down through and it all comes out in little pieces. And what you want to do is chop your apple. So I'm going to chop my apple. Um, I've already got some of them chopped up. So let me go ahead and just chop these up too. Um, to that, I'm going to add, um, it's six apples is what you use. Okay. And to that, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoon of lemon juice. And what that lemon juice does is keeps your apples from turning brown. Okay. So if you, find you want to keep an apple from turning brown, just mix it with some lemon juice. And now, I is just, that important if you're going to be baking it? Um, yeah, I would still put the lemon juice on it. It's okay. not that it turns brown it just sort of keeps it fresh keeps the apples a little fresher gotcha so lemon juice yeah so i've got all my apples cut up and to that i'm going to add um i'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar and then i'm going to add one teaspoon is that right yeah one teaspoon of ground <laughs> cinnamon and already have gotcha. that so that's sugar and cinnamon and already okay. have my lemon juice on there because I cut those other apples up earlier and it kept Gosh. them from brown. You're so a this, step ahead of us. I am. Um, so this is just your apples, your sugar, and your cinnamon, and your lemon mm -hmm. juice. And and we'll just mix that around so all those apples get a little little bit of that cinnamon and sugar on them. Okay. I I would you the other recipe I used an eight by eight dish. But because this is a small recipe, I'm gonna do them in little ramekins, little glass dishes. Well, that's so, cute. Yeah, I'll be able to give these away. Too bad you're yeah. too far away. Come to my house. 
<laughs> drop them off, huh? <laughs> so I'm just going to put a layer of apples in the bottom of both of these. Now I did spray these dishes um, before I put the apples in and I just sprayed them with a uh, cooking spray. You can do some butter if you want that little bit of butter on the bottom. It probably browns it a little better. Okay. So I've got my apples in both my dishes. So I'm going to set that aside and we're going to make our topping. So in my topping, just forget a minute, I forgot my butter. <laughs> Everything's better with butter, right? We decided uh, well, that. that. That goes without saying. Okay, so in my on my topping, I'm going to use old-fashioned oats. And we talked about this last week. These All are right roll but they're not cut so they're the old-fashioned oats and any oats would probably work it's just I have those and that's what the recipe called for okay to this I'm going to add let's see that was three-fourths cup of oats and then I'm going to add three-fourths cup of flour and I'm going to add a half a teaspoon or three-fourths teaspoon of cinnamon again cinnamon again, so I got okay. three-fourths cup of flour and three fourths cup or three fourths teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm going to add that, and then to that I'm going to add a cup of brown sugar. Now, the one I made this morning, I actually cut this back a little. I just didn't need that much sugar in there. Um, I think I cut it back to about three fourths of a cup. Um, when I can save it, I do. So anyway, I'm going to put my sugar in. Brown sugar, that, yeah brown sugar, three-fourths or a cup of that. So I'm going to mix that around. It's according to how sour your apples are. If your apples are granny smash, you're going to need that whole cup. If you got a sweeter apple like I have today, I don't think you're going to need all that sugar. Okay. So all I do is mix it up and it just makes a crumb. It looks yummy. And then to that, I've got um, butter. I've got, it'll take a, a half a cup. This is a fourth of a cup because I'm doing half. All I did was I cut it down the center and I made little cubes out of it. So it's just little cubes of butter and you want to keep that cold until you're ready for it. So let's put that butter in there. And then we're just going to cut that, sort of cut that through there. Um, I usually use my hands, but let's do it this way. This is <laughs> You'll be proper right now. Well, I, I make a mess when I use my hands. So I'm just gonna use a fork and just sort of mush that together. I did find out this morning, I put all of my butter in my topping. And when I went to bake it, all the butter was everywhere but on top. So when it baked, it didn't let that butter melt down through. So I added a little extra butter, why not, right? <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> That's all mixed up. So I'm just going to put that on top of my apples. So let me put a dose of that stuff there on top. And it's going to be the crust. And who doesn't love the crust on Well, that's the, best part. that's the best part. That's the best part. Now, is it going to change the baking time with you having those in those little ramekins like that instead of a longer pan? Yeah, because the 8 by 8 pan took 50 minutes. It says 40 to 50 minutes and it took all the 50 minutes of course i added the extra butter too but um <laughs> i would probably i would probably go ahead and put these in there for 30 minutes and then look at them you can see uh if the top is brown the butter is you know crusty nice and melted yes and yeah, nice and melted <laughs> so on top on top of this i'm actually going to put some chopped pecans now this wasn't in the recipe but it's me so I'm going oh, to sprinkle that's a good choice. That is a wise choice. <laughs> I agree. There are little pecans on top. Another thing you can never have too much of. That's right. Is it pecan or pecan? Depends on where you're from. That's true. Well, I was down in Georgia and it's pecan, I believe. Pecans. Down there. My yeah. Alabama relatives would tell you that for sure. So I'm going to add some of this uh, cube butter on top. So when it bakes, it's going to bake all yummy and juicy and melty and just wonderful. Man, those so, look fabulous. Those look really good. Those and with look some fabulous. Ice, uh, ice cream. Yum. Oh. Okay. Well, they're ready to go in the oven. If you can see that, they got all the crumb and the butter on top. So I'll put those in the oven. 
Those look great. And the magic of the oven. Here we go. This is the eight by eight I did, or the nine by nine I did. Look wow, at that. the magic even changed the pan. <laughs> it did. It did. I had to make a bigger one for me. And that is lovely? that one for you? That looks great. Hold up the pan. Let me see the bottom. Mm. Yum. Yeah, yum. Mm. So we'll, dig in, we'll dig into this in a little bit. Okay, we'll start with dessert. <laughs> As always, huh? <laughs> okay. Now we're going to do some tacos. Um, you know, I love to go out and eat. Like I said, every week, I think I love to go out and eat, but right now, because, um, you know, things, the virus is on the rise. I think it's just a good idea to stay home and eat. Stay home and, as much as possible. Yes. As possible. Um, you know, it's just, just a good idea right now and, you know, have fun with it, make an adventure. So today we're adventuring into tacos. <laughs> That's not a very big adventure. <laughs> I don't know. Tacos are tacos. Yeah, you think so, don't you? Well, you're going to show us different then, aren't you? I am. I am. Okay. Um, I've got this, came in one of my cookie magazines, and it's 50 different tacos. Okay. So I picked out some of the tacos I liked in there, and I got some really good ideas out of here, too, I'll show you. Well, isn't the there something with the avocado in somewhere? Yes. This first one we're going to do is a fish taco. And it's actually called fish taco with avocado crema. So we're going to make the crema first. So, um, little story. <laughs> I, I got everything together this morning to make this and realized um, I didn't have yogurt that it called for. So I'm going to substitute sour cream and we're going to see what that's like. Uh, it shouldn't be that much different. Just a little. Yeah, maybe a little tangier, maybe. I don't know. So I'm going to use my food processor. Now, you don't have a food processor. You can just mash it up and stir it yourself. But this okay. one I'm going to use a food processor. I'm going to put um, one avocado in. So again, cut it in half like we do and just take your spoon and go around the outside of the avocado. So there's one. That's so easy. Half, and then let me get the center out of this one. There we go. So avocado, we'll see what it comes out like. It should come out with a little creamy sauce that goes on top of this fish taco. So let's see what happens. Okay, next is my uh, lime, and it takes half of a juice of a lime. Okay. So and I didn't think I had a lime and I found one, so yay. Jeez. I don't think I'd find one of those in my fridge. Oh, come on. <laughs> I buy them and they, they just go to waste and then I go to find them and they're not worth using by then. So the, it calls for half a lime. So let me get half this lime. And I'm gonna pour that in. And then it also calls for, um, See where I'm at. It calls for a fourth of a teaspoon of cumin. My spoon. Cumin um, is a, is sort of a Mexican spice, and I really enjoy it. I actually put it in my chili too because I really like cumin. So I don't think I've ever used that for anything. No. Oh, it's really. No, good. I don't think so. Okay, we need um, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So let me put my salt in. I'm learning a lot of things from watching you cook. How are you? Well, good. I really yes. am. I mean, not then, joking. I'm seriously learning a lot about cooking. <laughs> good. Good. That's what I want. So that's yes. good. Yes. Um, instead of my yogurt, they said to use a half a cup of plain yogurt. I'm going to use sour cream. So let's see what happens with this. I think it's the same consist consistency. So I think it'll be fine. Once you mix it all together, you probably won't be able to tell much. Okay, do I have everything in there? Yes. Okay, let me put the lid on. Let me spin it. Should have cut my avocados up. They're not wanting to chop up very well. Oh, is that turning beautiful? 
Is it chopping up? Yeah, it's just slow. Oh, that's wonderful, Bonnie. Looks good. Just go ahead and turn it on. I say, who cares if there's a chunk of avocado in there? No, that'd be okay. Okay, I got a taste. Mmm. Mmm. I think maybe I like the sour cream in there better than I would of the yogurt because it adds well, a little taste. Well, that's sour good. cream you would put on a taco anyway, so it would make yeah. sense. So that's very good. Okay, so we got our, our cream all, our crema all done. So let me put that in a container. Um, you could put this, and I thought about doing this, you could put this in a Ziploc baggie and cut the end, just a little corner off, and then you can oh, squeeze, talk, talk squeeze it up. Squeeze yeah. it like a um, frosting or something. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do that today. We'll just put it in a little glass jar and we'll just dab it on our talk or on our fish tacos. Oh man, is this oh Bonnie, oh, this is good. I see a big uh, chunk of avocado in there. So, oh right, save that a, for me. Hey, <laughs> there's on my hat. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do fish tacos. Um, a little bit about um, the taco shells. Um, I actually took my taco shells, and these are the hard taco shells that you buy. Okay. Um, I bought them. You can buy just the taco shells. So I got just the taco shell. Yeah, um, that's easy. Yeah, heat these up. Um, you can put them in a, um, an oven at 350 for four minutes or you can microwave them <clears throat> for 45 seconds and i actually stuck mine in the toaster oven so that they're warm okay okay so um let me show you my fish and tell you what i did to that this is tilafia um you know they suggest that we eat more fish so these are good ways to get fish in your diet um there's my tilapia wow that looks good and on top of that, um, all I did was buy frozen fish, just like I did last week. I just wrote, bought the frozen tilapia. And then um, I laid it, I put it on my cookie sheet with a piece of foil. And that way I don't have to clean the pan afterwards, right? Yes, the fish in the pan. Scrub, you know, scrub that pan. So on the top of this, I combined um, two teaspoon, two tablespoons of chili powder. So I had two tablespoons of chili powder. Yes. I had one teaspoon of the cumin, which I used earlier. I had garlic powder. I had um, one teaspoon of garlic powder. I used one teaspoon of paprika. And then um, this also called um, for uh, black pepper. So I put a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I mixed that all up, and all I did was sprinkle it on top of my fish. Now, I did spray the aluminum foil so it'll come off pretty easy. But I okay. just sprinkled this on top of my fish. You didn't have to put it on the bottom. I put it in the oven, and it cooked at 375 for about 10 minutes. You wanted to wait until it was flaky. So, Well, that's quick. Yeah, I just took a knife and just sort of yeah, dug into it to make sure it was flaky. So that's my fish. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up a fish taco. Um, I have a little trick. Your muffin pan, turn okay. it upside down. Turn it upside down. Oh, good idea. Take your shell, lay it in your muffin pan upside down. Looky here. <laughs> Perfect. You know, I, I almost bought one of those, like a, a taco holder. Now I don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to. It, it's perfect. So let's load this up. And to load this up, I'm going to put some um, cabbage. It's just plain cabbage in the bottom. It sort of gives a little crunch. Okay. And then on, on top of that, I'm going to load my fish. Now you can do this with a soft taco too, or soft uh, shell too. Okay. Um, if, if you're going to do a soft shell, and I've got some in the oven, um, you just put it in foil, and you can put it in your oven for about 10 minutes wrapped in foil, or you can um, put them in the microwave with a damp towel for about a minute. 
So it's whatever you want to do, but this is what I'm using um, here. Okay, let me get my forks. So you so use the you use the cabbage because you're using fish, right? Yeah, you could is that use why. Lettuce. Okay, you could use lettuce. It wouldn't it wouldn't matter. Um, I think the cabbage gives it a little more crunch. Okay. So let me put um, a piece of fish in. Oh, yummy. Well, that looks good. I need a little more fish in there. <laughs> I'm going to load two of them up because I want two of them. I don't think my husband will eat this. I'll have to see. He might. Which part doesn't he like? Oh, probably the chili powder and the garlic and everything on the seasoning. Probably gotcha. what he Okay, as you can see, I've got my fish and my cabbage. So let's see, what else does it tell me to load up on them? Um, let me put, let's go ahead and put some of our avocado um, crema on top. So we'll put a little avocado crema. Yummy, yummy, yummy. That looks good. It does look good. That's gonna and mix in with the, with the slaw too, or with the cabbage, it's gonna be really good. And then I think on top for color, I'm going to put some tomatoes. Now you could use salsa. Um, I also have salsa that you could do, but I think this will be perfect. Mm, that looks good. It does look good, doesn't it? Very pretty too. So there's our tacos, our fish tacos. I and like I think, that. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, but I think this avocado stuff on top is going to be great. <laughs> So well, it looks like you're enjoying it. <laughs> let me set my avocado fish one here aside. Okay. Make sure they don't fall over. Okay. We've got another one to do. Okay. You're going to have tacos for the whole week. I am. Okay. This next one, um, I got this idea and I thought it was really neat and I've never done it. So let's see how it works. You take a uh, you take a soft shell tortilla, and I've had these in the oven, so they're nice and warm. So it's just flexible. Okay. So let's start with that, and then to that, where's it at here? I'm going to spread some refried beans. Now I warm oh. these beans in the stove. So let's put a dollop of those. Hmm. This okay. This is something Taco Bell does, so. Oh, do they? I don't usually yeah. eat at Taco Bell, so I don't know that, but so far, so good. So we're going to spread that all around just like icing it, okay? You're icing with beans. I am, icing with beans. <laughs> <laughs> I think, now, it didn't call for this. Lick my finger because I can. Because you're at I home. You can lick your fingers all you want. I'm gonna put a little Mexican cheese on there too. Just okay. a little. Okay, this is the next thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take one of my hard shells, lay it in the middle and wrap this up over it. Oh. So you have a double shell taco. So you can make any, you can make another fish taco if you wanted. I am, but I have something good too. I actually did some ground beef meat it goes in my taco. So you're gonna have authentic tacos now. I am. I am. So um, in this one, what I did was I took ground beef. Um, I sauteed one onion, and I actually put one garlic in there. It calls for two pieces of garlic, but you know how that is. And I let that sort of saute for a minute, and then to that I added a tablespoon of chili powder two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of coriander, and I let that cook for just a few seconds. Then I added my ground beef and let it brown. Okay. And of course, all that seasoning went into the ground beefs, and I get a lean ground beef so I don't have to, um, to drain it. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And then you add a couple teaspoons of broth, a little salt to taste, and you end up with, ta with taco with meat. Taco meat. Yes. Nice. So I'm going to put this in my taco shell. Oh, yummy. This ought to be really good, especially that double crunch, because you got the beans in there, and then you got a little bit cheese. of cheese. 
Yeah. So then to this, I'm going to add, um, let's see here. I have all kinds of stuff to add. I have some lettuce. So let me add some lettuce. <laughs> you have everything. <laughs> I do. I have some tomatoes. Let me put some of those on for color. And then I'm going to add a little bit of red onion just because I like, I like red onion. And then on top of that, I was going to put a dollop of sour cream. Look at here. Is that not a perfect taco? That's perfect beautiful. Taco. It, it needs a little good. cheese. Mm. Yes, I have cheese. It needs a little cheese. So let me put a little cheese in. Look at that. <laughs> oh, now that's perfection now. Now it's perfect. <laughs> I actually have salsa too, so I might put a little bit of salsa on there. Why not? That is a right? whole meal right there. A whole meal. Look at that. You're getting your beans and your tortilla and your taco and everything in one meal. Yep. And you have vegetables. Um, you know, you got it all. You got your protein. <laughs> so. That's let awesome. <laughs> let me plate this up. So you got this idea from Taco Bell? <laughs> sort of. Um, <laughs> the, the little book I showed you earlier, 50 di different tacos, this mm -hmm. idea was actually in here. So that's why. Wow. But it's a great idea. I've never thought of it, but it's a great idea. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take it off my cook, my little muffin tin, because if I do, it'll fall over. Yeah, leave it there until you pick it up to eat it. And there's my fish one. Wow. Those are let beautiful. Me, let me taste. You know, that's the secret is the taste. Okay, we ready? <laughs> oh, mm. oh, body. Mm. <laughs> You're having way too much fun. <laughs> when you bite into that, you get that soft shell, you get the beans, and then you bite into that hard shell, and it is perfect. Oh, it looks really good. I'm going to try that. I'm really seriously going to try that. That's really good. You'll enjoy that one. Let me taste the fish. Yeah, I'll I'm interested in the fish one. That's what I want to see. Mm. 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 <laughs> Are you going to be okay? Are you going to be okay? <laughs> I'm not sure which one I like the best. Mm. I don't know. I'd like to try the fish just because I've never had that before. Mm -hmm. So it might be something new. This is delicious. So you the do have to try these. The avocado part sounds really good also. And you know that sour cream didn't make any difference. I think I'd like it with that, that way. So you're just gonna make it that way from now on. I am. Those are both really good. I think they're as good as anything you'd buy out. So it's probably sure better. I'm sure it's better because you made it uh, step by step, not thrown together. Yeah. Um, try that soft shell and hard shell. Oh man, it is really good. Really good. Okay. I have to taste my apple crisp, right? Well, of course. So let me get one of these crusty corners, right? Are those still warm? Yes, it's still warm. Oh, look so how pretty it is in the little cup. <laughs> look here, I have ice cream today. You are so Martha Stewart right now. Oh, I'm so good, yeah. And there's a dollop ice cream on top. That looks Isn't perfect. Isn't that lovely? Can I just be Snoop Dogg and you can be Martha? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have a spoon. Isn't that a shame? Here, I'll eat my salsa one. I got to tell you what it tastes like. Oh, it looks fabulous. Mm. Mm. That's one of the better ones I've ever made. Mm. You have plenty. Look how pretty everything looks. It looks beautiful. Even in my muffin tin, huh? Even in your muffin tin, it still looks lovely. Isn't this a neat idea? I do. I love that idea. And I have a muffin tin just sitting around that I can use, but then I don't have another gadget that I need for as a taco holder. That's right. You don't need another gadget. You just turn no. for your muffin tin over. Just a gadget I don't need. That's right. That's right. Perfect. Those are good okay. recipes. Both this are super easy. 
Yep. This is lunch today. And then probably any taco meat I have left over, we'll probably do taco salads tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So you're set for the week. You have extra fish. We you could have do. plenty of fish tacos. I do. Yep. And that's yep. good for staying home and eating instead of going out. It because... is. And it, it wasn't that hard, you know. It took me probably um, probably an hour and a half to get everything together and prepare it. And it's not so bad. Well, it's kind of fun, too. And, yeah. and now you're set for a few days. And the way things are going out in our community right now, it's best to just stay home right now. Yep. Bonnie, is there a way people can figure out what's going on at O'Neill right now? Well, I would really love it if people would keep an eye on our Facebook and our social media accounts because things may get canceled at the last minute or things may happen that we would really want everybody to know about. And, you know, we have a Facebook, we have an Instagram page, we have our, you know, our Facebook live feed that Aaron's always putting something on our Facebook. So any news we have will be on there. So hopefully yeah. people keep track. And if people have a question, they can ask you a question on there, right? Just they can ask the question on there or they can always call Kaylee at the office. She's at the office. So if you have any questions at all, but we'll try to keep everybody updated on what's okay. happening. And if okay. we have to cancel classes, we'll let everybody know as, as quickly as we can. Okay. And okay. a little something um, in, coming up next week, um, I'm going to start doing some Thanksgiving dishes, side dishes mm -hmm. that I like. Um, I think Thanksgiving this year is going to be totally different for everyone. I think everyone needs to stay out of the big groups. Um, so I think at home, uh, if you cook for yourself for Thanksgiving, I think it's a good idea. I think this coming week, I'm going to do some side dishes that I like. And okay. then the following the following week, I'm going to do a sheet pan Thanksgiving. So you can do all of your Thanksgiving on one sheet pan. Oh, that's a good idea. And, yes, and that's a good plan because it is going to be a different Thanksgiving this year for a lot of people. So it will be a good idea to give them something that they can do on their own. Yep, at home. And it's just enough for you. And you can enjoy Thanksgiving together with your loved one. If you've got someone in the house or you know, Zoom somebody or go yeah. on FaceTime and share Thanksgiving by FaceTime. Okay, we got to do something so we can stay safe. I'd really like to get this, you know, to settle back down and everybody be safe. Yep. We so, need to be healthy. And we need to be independent. And productive. And productive. We need to be and, hip. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yes. Healthy, independent, productive. And we'll keep in hip in Marietta and in Belfry. So it's go. always good to see you. Your food is always fabulous. So yep. go eat and I'm going to go drool. Okay. We'll be safe this week. Okay. You too. And I'll see you next week. Thanks. Okay, bye. Bye. Dessert, dessert first. Dessert first. Hmm.